Hello dear ones, happy Tuesday. I have not been on here in a while. I haven't done a video in a while. I've been busy, I've been traveling. The Lord's been doing some amazing, awesome things. Um, but I do want to share just something that he's put on my heart as I've been reading through your messages today. I've had some time to do that and just pray over you and and uh, kind of see where you guys are at and what you're going through. And this is really what I felt the Lord um, would just want to speak into you today. So I just want to take some time and, and pour into that. Um, but before I get started, I just felt very strong to share this with you. Listen to me. Your current situation is not your final destination, okay? As long as you have breath in your lungs, there is purpose on your life. God's not done with you yet, all right? And a lot of times you want to dictate our life based on our current circumstance. And listen to me. Uh, you serve a limitless God. He is not subject to your limited circumstance. We need to learn how to subject our limited circumstance to a limitless God. And I want to talk to you about how we do that a little bit today, okay? I'm going to talk to you out of John chapter 9. It's when Jesus heals the blind man with mud. Yes, he heals him with mud. Sounds crazy, but it's pretty cool. I want to talk to you about it. So a blind man, he's born blind, comes to Jesus. He says, Jesus, I need healing. I can't see. Jesus grabs some dirt, spits into it with his own saliva to create what they, what the Bible refers to as a clay paste, all right, mud. What I love about this, though, is that Jesus wipes it on the man's eyes, and then he says, go, I want you to go wash in the pool of Siloam, which means scent. I think that's a crucial, and I'm going to talk about that in a second, that he says, uh, he tells him specifically to go wash in that pool, meaning scent. So Jesus heals him, he wipes, the, he wipes the mud on his eyes, the man go washes in the pool, wipes the mud off, he can see. Now what is imperative about this that we understand is that Jesus literally, by putting his own saliva in the mud, he gave him his DNA. He deposited his DNA into the mud. The man could see. Now, what I want to tell you is this. I don't believe the man just got physical vision. I don't believe he just got his, his eyesight physically back. I believe that this man was given spiritual vision. When he wiped that mud off of his eyes, he could see spiritually. He was now awakened to the truth. He could now see the truth. He knew God. He saw God. And I love that the Lord sent him into the pool of Siloam, meaning sent. He sent him out to go show with spiritual vision not just talk about it but to show spiritual vision listen to me we have to learn how to see through the mud we have to learn how to see through our circumstance what's right in front of us we can no longer look at what's right in front of us okay the devil wants you so distracted by your circumstance that you forget that there's a god who dictates those and he wants us so focused on the natural and what where we're lacking and what we can't do listen you can't do it all. You're not supposed to. God can. The word of God even says, my flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. Listen, we have to see through the mud. Your current situation is not final. Jesus is the only thing eternal. When we subject everything to him, we get to see with spiritual vision. All right? So we have to learn how to see past what's in front of us, subject it to God and say, Lord, give me spiritual vision. Show me what you want me to see. What, what are you doing in this? How can I partner with you? How can I be in agreement with you in this situation? All right, it's imperative to our spiritual life. We have to have spiritual vision. You serve a God of miracles yesterday, today, tomorrow, and forever. So he's not changed, all right? He still does them. He still performs miracles. And you gotta believe that though. You have to have the faith the partners with his power, his authority in your life. Listen, your current situation is not final, all right? You gotta learn how to see through the mud and gain spiritual vision. Your spiritual vision is crucial to uh, the way that we walk out our circumstances in our life, okay? I love you guys so, so, so much. Be encouraged. Ask God, what does he want you to see? What does he want you to see? And begin declaring that over your life, all right? I love you guys so, so, so much. I'm always praying for you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.